No, let, let's think about this one. Okay. I've, I've already given you an indication that when we're looking at clone flipping, they're independent events. So I know I'm looking for the multiplication rule here. And I've shown you, if I'm looking for flipping ahead twice, if I'm looking for flipping ahead twice, that's just half times half. If I was looking at flipping ahead six times, right, I could apply that same principle. I could half say that, half yeah, let's write it out. So P of head, six heads. One sec, shh, shh, slow down, slow down. Just, just wait with me here, right? The probability of flipping head six times would be half times half times half. One sec, and it's important that you do. Times half, times half. One, two, three. We need your half times half times six or something. Now, here's the thing. And, 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 I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm hearing a lot of different languages here. I need you to be careful with it. Yes, I can, I can write this in a shorter way. The shorter way, though, isn't half times six, because what's half times six? Half times six. Six hundred. Three. It's three, which doesn't make sense. Are so probability, Jesse, one moment. This probability, probability needs to be between zero and one. It can't be more than 100%. Half the yeah, that's the, what I want, that's the notation I want to be using. A shorter way of doing this is to say, okay, well, if we're just multiplying half by itself six yeah, times, that's just half to the power of six, and that's equal to one over... It's one over 64. Okay. Half when, I, when I'm looking at this, when I'm looking at this, this is why I say some people just have an intuitive understanding of probability. The probability of no heads, what outcome is that actually? I won. All tails. It's the opposite. One out of six. It's the pro yeah, and the, no, just, just bear with me. The probability of getting six tails. How would you calculate that probability? The same way you did that. The same way I did this. It's just half to the power of six. I thought you were going to, the no heads oh. thing was going to be the same, like the opposite of the six heads. Like right, we're talking about the complements here, right? Now, now, now comp complements are used in certain scenarios, and this is where I need to know when to use them. Right? This is why I say probably it can be tricky. We have all these different tools here, but I want to think about when I can e use each one. If, just don't. My my best advice to you with probability: don't overcomplicate the question. If I'm just looking at six heads, I can use <coughs> this multiplication principle: multiply half by itself six times. Same thing with probability of no heads. Right? Well, I know that's just getting six tails. There's no heads in that one. Right? And so that would just be, again, be half to the power of six. Or one at least of one head. Yeah. Let's just say we're doing something like, like how it just says no heads, yeah. but we're using cars. What happens if it says like P, no, no spades, or no well, We'll look at those examples later, okay? We'll look, we can use the same idea, yeah. Okay. But we'll look at those examples later. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me keep going, let me keep going. <clears throat> now, remember, we want to be careful about when we use our complement. Because it's a very useful tool, we just have to know when to use them. And what was one of the key words I say we could look for? The opposite, at least. At least, right? <laughs> the probability of at least one head, what was the complement of that again? No heads. No heads. Right? <laughs> so, what I, what I want to do is, I want to set up an equation like this. I've recognized the wording at least there. Yeah. So, any time of at least, I'm thinking about complement. So, let me just write the, what that statement would be. The P of at least one, H, that would equal to one minus the P of, no H, or no heads, right? Funnily enough, I, I, funnily enough, I already have that, don't I? That's 1 over 64. Right? So 1 minus 1 over 64, that's just 63 over 64. So can you see how sometimes they'll try and lead you into these questions, right? They'll help you out by saying, find the probability of no heads, and then find the probability of at least one head here. And this is why I want you to be really confident about knowing when to use which principle. Okay, so don't 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 overcomplicate the question, but know when you can use which principle.